Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. My first guest this morning, she is a true inspiration to all who have the pleasure of knowing her. Now, she has overcome drug abuse, physical abuse, alcohol abuse, even homelessness at one point in her life. After going through all of that, instead of losing hope, she has completely turned her life around. She is even making some of her dreams come true. Elisa, thank you so much for being back with me this morning. Thank you, Jenna. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> well, it is so nice for me to be able to talk with you because every time you leave me, I just feel so inspired after thank hearing you. <laughs> your story. All right, Elisa, for my viewers who weren't able to hear you speak the first time you were on, Let's go back to your dark past, and I mentioned, Elisa, that you found yourself at one point really addicted to drugs, mm -hmm. and part of the reason why you became addicted is because you were in such an abusive relationship that that was the only thing that could numb the right. pain. Um, I was, you know, I had a really bad childhood and teenage years, and I dropped out of school at 15, um, and my last relationship, I was in a, uh, for three years, he was very abusive to me. And in my mental state, I tried cocaine and found that it just numbed the physical pain, the emotional pain, and I became highly addicted to it. Um, two years straight of every single day. Um, I functioned, but the addiction um, just took everything I had. I was doing three to $4,000 a month in cocaine, um, alcohol. So I lost everything. I lost my house, my dogs, my car, everything, my job. Um, I even had a share in my company and I lost it. Mm -hmm. So then I went to FKOC and they took me in. Mm -hmm. And that's been almost four years now. One. I've been with them. So they've changed my life completely. When you walked through those doors, Elisa, you had a, a brand new life mm -hmm. open up for you. And you went through the program as a client, client of the FKOC. But now, Elisa, to this day, you're actually one of the workers there. Yes, I'm on staff. I'm actually volunteer staff. I'm a monitor in uh, the family unit. And I'm an AmeriCorps VISTA volunteer. Mm -hmm. I just finished my first term, and they've reinstated me for a second term. Mm -hmm. So, and I work at the Patterson House, and I just love my job. Mm -hmm. It just fulfills my day every day that I can help somebody like me. Mm -hmm to start a new life and it's just great. <laughs> I <And> love it. <laughs> I love that you have the passion for it and Elisa last time you were on with me you said you know you could have maybe taken another job if you wanted but because of what the FKOC has done for you you felt like you needed to stay on board and help other people who found themselves in the position that you were in at one time which was homeless. I believe so much in FKOC they that's their passion is homelessness and it's just to me, that's my passion now, is FKOC and homelessness, that I want to help. There's so many people out there that need help, and, and if I can just help one person, I've done a great job. Mm -hmm. And my heart will be with FKOC as long as I'm alive, because mm -hmm. they changed me. Mm -hmm. well, they you, gave me the incentive to change myself, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, you have helped mm -hmm. people, Elisa, you have. And let's talk about some of your dreams coming true, Elisa. What you've managed to do along with helping others, having this full-time job now with the FKOC, is you've managed to go back and get your GED. Mm -hmm. Congratulations yes. on that. That's one of my biggest regrets in my life and my dream um, is to get my GED before I die. And I did it. Um, it took me a lot of hard work, but I passed on my first try. And I'm so proud of myself. And I credit FKOC for that. Mm -hmm. They were behind me 100%. You know, they got the funds for me to pay for the GED test. And um, now I'm going on to college. And I'm going to get my substance abuse um, CAP certification so that I can do some in-house counseling mm -hmm. through FKOC. And that's what I want to do. I think that's one part of the program's weaknesses of not having the counseling on site. Mm -hmm. And I think because I know for myself, I didn't want to go to the care center. Um, just didn't want strangers to know that I had issues. Mm -hmm. um, being in the program and getting the in-house care, the counseling, I think it would be so great accomplishment for the clients and for FKOC. Elisa, when you come into contact with people who have a drug abuse problem, an alcohol abuse problem, maybe they're homeless, what is your advice to them? Um, first of all, I tell them my story, um, that there is hope, 
and if they're willing and they want to get help, that FKOC is there for them. Um, I give them program details, and you know, I also advise them to go get uh, detoxed, mm -hmm. and then be asked to come into our program. Um, and I think it gives them hope that uh, I've come so far that they have the chance to. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my passions. I have no problems telling my story to anybody. Mm -hmm. Anybody that asks or, you know, or needs help, that's what I want to do. Well, your story is so powerful, Elisa. And again, it shows that, you know, if you don't give up, you don't lose that hope, you can overcome your past, you can put it behind you. You've gotten your GED now, Elisa. You're going back to school. Is there anything else that you feel like you want to do here in the next couple of years? Um, not really. That's my passion is just to go back to school and be able to help in my community. Um, Key West has been great to me. FKOC has been wonderful to me. And that's my passion. If I don't stay at FKOC, I mean, I'll always be there. But to go out and do more outreach, um, may, may that be on my own or, you know, through FKOC, that's what I want to do. Do you think you'll ever go back down the wrong path, Elisa? Like, have you, f do you think you've overcome all of that, that past? I totally? think I have overcome that. Um, don't get me wrong, it's an everyday battle. Um, there's always that little demon back there that's saying alcohol and drugs, but I have so much to lose, and I never, ever want to go back to where I was before, ever. Wonderful. Well, you so, won't. You won't no, go back to where no, you were. <laughs> You've got too I many people will to help. Outreach. I will have to <laughs> ask for help mm -hmm. if I know that that's, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. I have so many um, wonderful um, people backing me up that I could go to any one of them and they'll help me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's one of the good things about FKOC is they're there to help. Wonderful. Well, you have a fan club, and I'm in your fan club, well, so I'm cheering you. on you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> cheering you on, Elisa. It's wonderful mm -hmm. being able to talk with you, and I think what you're doing is wonderful. And again, congratulations on your GED, girl. Thank That's you great. so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> For more information on the FKOC, you can just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there's much more to come this morning, so stay with me.